Good afternoon, grade one. I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy. I was so happy to see all of your different videos and all of your photos, or not videos, your photos of uh, the different papers of writing rhythms and getting to try them from different sounds in your room. It was all really cool to see, um, though I do, so I do miss you guys very much and seeing it in the classroom. Today, I am actually sitting in the Philippines. I am visiting my cousin um, and staying with her for a couple days while, uh, while I'm staying here in the Philippines. Again, we're still not in the classroom, but we are still going to make some music today. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to grab one piece of paper, and I also need you to grab a pencil. So I need you to grab a pencil, because we're gonna do a little bit of writing today. So I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds to go and grab a piece of paper and go grab a pencil. On your marks, get set, go. All right, you've got your you've got your paper and your pencil, I hope. Now, today we're going to talk about something called an ostinato. Let's try saying that really quickly. Repeat after me. Ostinato. Try one more time. Ostinato. We're going to do it just a little bit faster this time. Ostinato. Ostinato. And one more time, as fast as you can. Ostinato. Well done. All right, so we're gonna talk about an ostinato. Now, in just a minute, I'm gonna give you two minutes to guess what you think an ostinato might be. I'm gonna give you one hint. It's very similar, it uh, has to do, it's very similar to what we did last week, where we were talking about rhythms, like ta, ta, tadi, and shh. When we are talking about those four rhythms, it has to do with these four rhythms. Now, on your paper, here's what I would like you to write. At the very top, I want you to write ostinato, which is spelled O-S-T-I-N-A-T-O. Again, ostinato is spelled O S. T I N A T O. Very good. I want you to put ostinato at the top of your paper. Then next, I want you to write down guess, which is spelled G U E S S. I want you to write guess, G U E S, S. That's all I want you to write right now. And next to your guess, when I start the timer up on my clock, I'm gonna start a two minute timer for us to go down. When I start the timer next to guess, I want you to write down, what do you think ostinato means? Remember, I said it has to do with the rhythms we talked about last time. Ta, toddy, ta, and sh. So think about how are we gonna use these rhythm patterns that we did to make an ostinato. I want you to take your best guess. Remember, just like we talk about in class, a guess does not have to be right. It's a guess. All right, so I'm gonna put two minutes on the clock and I want you to think and then write it down, okay? Here we go. On your marks, get set, go.
All right, so I hope at this time that you have written down a guess uh, for your ostinato, writing down a guess for your ostinato. If not, I want you to take a minute, I want you to pause the video, and I really want you to come up with a guess of what you think could possibly be an ostinato based off of what we did last week. Now, for those of you that do have your guess, I want you to take a look, remind yourself really quickly, what do you think an ostinato is? All right, so our real answer for an ostinato, I have written up here. I want you to write down on your paper, I want you to write down real. R-E-A-L. I want you to write real, because this is the real definition of an ostinato. R-E-A-L. Good. Now the real definition of an ostinato, I'll try to put it all up here on the paper so we can all try to so we can all look at this together. A real ostinato, the real definition is a rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. I want you to write this down on your piece of paper next to real. A rhythmic, which is spelled R H Y T H M I C. A rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see it a little bit better. A rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. Take a minute to write that down on your piece of paper next to real. All right, so we should have, uh, everybody should have written down a rhythmic pattern that repeats over and over. Good, if you haven't finished writing it down, pause the video so you can write it down on your piece of paper and then you can keep going with the rest of us, all right? Now, the rest of the paper, what you're going to write, sorry, I put this away too soon. What I would like you to write is, I want you to draw a line right down the middle of the paper. Underneath this part right here, I want you to write equals four. Then over on the other side, I would like you to write another equals four. And you've got two lines and two dots. I'll explain what this means in just a bit. But while we've got our paper and our pencil out, I want you to write down the very bottom parts as well. We've got a line down the middle on the side closest to the real and the guess, you're gonna write an equals four. On the other side, you're gonna write an equals four, and you've got two lines on this side and two dots right on top of each other. Take one minute to write this down on your piece of paper. Your paper should look just like mine, so I'll give you another minute to write, down, to, uh, write this down.
All right, good. Your paper should look just like mine. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to set it off to the side because right now we're just going to read a rhythm together. Now, we're going to take a look at one ostinato together today. Our ostinato is two is going to be a repeat is a repeating pattern, a repeating rhythmic pattern. So, we're going to take a look at number 1. We're gonna take a look up at number one. Just don't, don't worry about number two. We're only gonna look at number one. Now, this first one is a ta. Everybody say ta. Good. The second one is a ta. Give it a try. Good. Now, a ta, we've got two ta's. So this whole first part, it's gonna sound like this. Ta. Ta, give it a try. Good. Try one more time. Ta, ta. Excellent. Now, a ta gets two beats. This ta gets two beats. Two plus two equals, two plus two equals four. Now, for this, each of these boxes or these different sides from this one in the middle, each of these need to equal four. That's why I had you on your other paper equal four. So for this one, we've got ta, ta. For our second part, we have another ta and two sh. So this part will sound like ta, sh, sh. Give it a try. Ta, sh. Your turn. Try it one more time. Ta, sh, sh. Good, now if we put this all together, it'll sound like this. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Give it a try. Good, try it one more time. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Excellent. So this is our first ostinato. But like I said, an ostinato, it repeats over and over and over again. That's what these two lines and these two dots means. This, in music, we call a repeat sign. If you see this, you go back to the beginning and repeat the whole thing. So this time, we're going to do this two times in a row. I'll go first, and then you'll go second, okay? Here's what it'll sound like if we repeat it. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Now it's your turn. Give it a try. Good. Now this time we're going to repeat it three times. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. One. Two, we'll do it together. Here we go. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Ta, 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 sh, sh. Well done. So this is the rhythm for our first ostinato. Now, we're going to do a chant. I'll introduce what the chant is in a little bit. But we need to learn the rest of this ostinato. The rhythms are quite nice, but we're gonna add some words to the bottom. So let me write them down real quick. So that way you guys can help read that, or that way you guys can try to read them as well. Now our shishes are always going to be shishes, but at the bottom, we're going to say, instead of saying ta, 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 sh, sh, Instead, what we're going to say is grr, arg, roar, sh, sh, grr, arg, roar, sh, sh. All right, give it a try with me. Here we go. One, two, here we go. Grr, arg, roar, sh, sh, grr, arg, roar, sh. One more time. Grr. 
Arr! Roar! Shh! Shh! Good. Now I'm going to put this down. Let's see if you remember it if I help you with my hands. Are you ready? We're going to do it two times in a row. We're going to do it two times in a row. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, here we go. Grr! Arr! Roar! Shh! Shh! Grr! Arr! Roar! Shh! Shh! Excellent. All right. <clears throat> now, we're going to do a chant. Now, there's a chant that goes along with it. We're not, I'm not going to teach you the chant. I'm going to say the chant really quickly for you. And then we're going to try to put our grr, ar, roar, shh, shh, our ostinato underneath the chant. Okay? Are you ready? Now, just for a minute, you're going to sit, you're going to listen. This is what the chant sounds like. So that way you know what it sounds like before we actually put the ostinato together. Okay? Just listen. I don't want a cat or dog. I think I want a dragon. It's fiery breath and mighty roar. Oh, think of all the action. Its scaly wings and giant size will help me when I roam. But something tells me magic monsters won't fit in my home. So what is this chant all about? It's about dragons, which is why we're doing grr, ar, roar, shh, shh, all right? Now this time, I'm going to say the chant, but you at home are going to say the ostinato, which is what? Grr, ar, roar, shh, shh. So you are going to follow my hands. If I go like this, you're going to go grr. If I go like this, you're going to go ar. If I go like this, you're going to go roar. And then this is shh. Shh. So you're going to follow my hands while I say the chant. Okay? You up for the challenge? I thought so. Here we go. One, two, here we go. I don't want a cat or a dog. I think I want a dragon. Its fiery breath and mighty roar. Oh, think of all the action. Its scaly wings and giant size will help me when I roam. But something tells me magic monsters won't fit in my home. Good. All right. Well done. All right. If you want to try doing that again, you can, you can go back and try doing that one more time. Now, today, what I would like you to do, now that we've done our first chant all together, well done, dragons, is I want you to bring back your paper. I want you to get your paper back out and grab a pencil and grab a pencil. What I would like you to do, remember how I had you write these two, uh, these two almost boxes, they're not really boxes, and I had you write equals four underneath. So remember, in our chant, both of these, two plus two equals four, two plus one plus one equals four. Each of these equals four, just like our rhythms from last week. So this week, I want you to write two boxes that equal four, and these are going to be your ostinato. These are going to be your ostinato. And I want you to keep this for next week, because next week, you are going to write your very own ostinato for a chant that I will tell you next week. So all I want you to do today is I want you to write four beats here and four beats here using ta, ta di, ta, or sh. Again, you can use ta, ta di, ta, or sh in your four beats. But remember, they should each equal four beats. Now, I'll give you a hint if you want to know our chant next week, the theme for the chant is going to be sneezing. <laughs> Just like that. It's going to be all uh, it's going to be all about sneezing. So I want you to write your rhythms for your ostinato, and we will finish writing this next week. So make sure you save this paper, okay? Alright. Please get to work writing this down. If again, if mom and dad can please send me a picture of your of your ostinato paper so that way I can see it and send it to me either on Class Dojo for the messages 
or you can send me an email if you need to know my email address please have the ea come uh, contact me and i will see you next week all right goodbye grade one